This week's training tip is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition. Weather permitting, I ride the bike twice a week, six miles around the, the mountain. The other days I try to carry my Kufru pack. Nothing refreshes you any better than going for a good walk. Hollering to your dog every once in a while to see where he went to, but you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go on my four mile walk. So I keep adding weight all the time to it. So by the time I get ready for that Alberta hunt, I'll be pushing 50, 60 pounds in the pack. When you think about that, I get on there, it takes me with the pack about an hour, 10 minutes or so to go four miles and six, six miles, it takes me a little hour and 15, 20 minutes on the bike. I'm fortunate enough to where I live gives me a place like this in the Endless Mountains to get ready for a sheep hunt or any hunt. The days that rain, I get on my elliptical machine. 30 minutes on this. 30 minutes in the sauna room. Push a little iron. Try to get the muscles going. Not only do I feel it here, but here and on the top of my shoulders. That doesn't get you ready for seven hour climb. It gets your body in shape, your lungs are breathing and stuff. Like coming up the hill, you know, there's a couple times I probably could have quit, but I just said, no, I'm not quitting, I'm not quitting. Getting your mind in shape is the key. Last time I was in excellent shape, body-wise, mind-wise, but the heat, boy, that got to me. It's as close as I ever come. And quitting on a hunt as I can remember. Being able to put one foot in front of the other foot, that's, that's the key of hunting sheep. And I don't care what your pocketbook is, you gotta climb the mountain. That's what gives every sheep hunter out there respect for one another. So that's kind of what I do to get in shape. Besides shooting, we'll be out going out to Wyoming here pretty soon to try my new best of the West rifle and making sure that's on. And Nice. Oh. oh, okay. He's still. Oh, you, he fell off the rock. You got him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Walk over and get him so I can get a picture of him, Dale. Well, we just killed a rock chuck or a wood chuck at 1,107 yards. Yeah, uh, up here in Cody, Wyoming. We just picked our new guns up here a couple days ago. We went to the range and John helped us get them dialed in. And in fact, we got them all packed up and ready to go, and we figured we'd come out here and see some of John's sheep area and hunting area, really. And we said, well, let's try a rock truck, you know? That's one thing I can say about old age is catching up with me is how much stuff I can pack today. Of course, I don't have to carry everything like I used to. I used to carry, have to think I carried this kitchen sink. Now I know what I need. And even some of that, like the last time I was in Alberta, you know, you can see I had a, a different tent, a different sleeping bag. And, now my tent's lighter, my sleeping bag's lighter, my food is lighter, so as I get weaker, I get smarter, I guess. <laughs> the anticipation is killing me. I've shot one sheep already with Corey, and I got skunked on one sheep. You know, so we're doing everything that we can do not to get skunked this time. Of course, we need Mother Nature's on our side with good weather, and I've got the best optics, the best rifle, the best gear that, that anybody can get, now it's just a matter of having a little luck and that horse shoot up my buttocks. And that, my folks, is the tip of the day. <laughs>